All right. So we got everything in the tub. Got my pH meter. Everybody, this has already been calibrated, by the way. So I'm just going to turn this guy on. This is our solution before adding the gel. And I'm going to swish this guy around in there. Maybe using a shallower container is not a bad idea, so I can read it. But I have a pH in here of, I am reading 6.1. So I'm going to correct that with some pH down. Just a few drops. I formulated the pH up and pH down so that typically a, every drop is about a tenth of a point for pH change. Okay? So if you're doing this at home, I'm down to about 6.0 for two drops. So I'm going to, I'm shooting for 5.7. So one, two, see where we stand. I've decided to use the mixing jug today because it's one of my favorite ways to dispense. Uh, and you'll see what I mean when I get to um, start measuring these. And this was probably not my strongest pH correction yet. I'm going to go ahead and cheat and make it easy. Make sure everything's mixed properly before measuring. Five, six, went a little bit over, but that's why I gave you two bottles. Incidentally, this is also much easier done in a mixing cup, but I've chosen to use this vessel because it's excellent for dispensing. I'm going to give that a shake because it's so close. I just want to make sure that it's been properly mixed. Now, if you ever run out of solutions at home, uh, excellent substitutions for pH down are lemon juice, lemon juice is citric acid, uh, or for pH up, are baking powder. So you've actually got pH correction at home, though if you can, uh, our ingredients are the best ones to use because they'll actually be using real fertilizer elements, that is phosphorus um, for phosphoric acid pH down or potassium for potassium hydroxide pH up. All right, we hit it, that's perfect. We're not done. That's my first pH test. Just wanted to do that before adding the gel powder. In the incidents that sometimes the pH is too low before we add this, sometimes putting the powder in, it will not set properly when it finishes. So I've done that first and this guy goes, the value of this container is really going to be seen after everybody's mixed up in here properly and we go to fill all our containers. One more pH correction and we're ready to dispense. Let's see what we're working with here. I wish you could read this, but I'll read it for you. We got 5.6, so I am not going to mess with it much. That is good enough, one drop, we're ready to go.